okay, let's try this again. Um, so the team members, I must have deleted everyone yesterday by mistake, or maybe there was some sort of time limit. I will re-invite anyone. And Maya sent me her um, Gmail address, so I will do that. Um, worst case scenario, we can do the easy peasy, um, just dropping and dragging in the uh, JPEG file when we do the one-on-one -on -one next week. Um, so first of all, uh, this will be, when you log in, this will be the screen that you see, I think. Um, we will be working on the Hitchhiker's Guide one. Um, <laughs> don't touch my website. Um, actually, I don't know, if, it might show up. I don't know if you'll be able to edit it though. Um, so what you're gonna do is, uh, the little blue line underneath is actually the live link for the published site. Uh, you wanna click on the black type that's a little bit bolder and larger on top. And that will open up. There we go. Now, when I did this a few minutes ago, um, the site was getting kind of glitchy. Uh, I think it's because I would worked a little too long on it. Um, but uh, you'll see, you know, this main page that comes up. Um, if you kind of roll over things, you'll see that it, you know, little things pop up, little buttons to test and click. Um, if you click on these little things up here, it shows you previews of all the different sizes. Um, if you for this tutorial when you're just uploading the JPEG you will not I don't believe you have to change any of the any of the different sizes it'll scale it automatically um, so you will open up and you will be on the home page um, where you want to go is to pages to the side here and click on destinations um, and then uh, there's a thing that says template with single JPEG. That's the one that you can just swap out a JPEG of your file from Illustrator in it. Um, you know, if you don't if you don't want to really play around with some of these other options, and I'm going to do videos on how to you know work with um, basically a template that you can drop and drag individual sections in. Um, maybe you you know, and that might be cool to do too. Uh, so let's go into the JPEG single one there whoops yeah actually and then the oh dang it I scoop myself out of the way and hopefully this doesn't mess things up uh, I'm going to template with JPEG click on that and go to uh, duplicate then change this to either your name or the name of the planet so I have Maya's um, JPEG background um, and I am going to just call this one Maya um, and I'll just put JPEG in the name um, because, so we know which what it is. Uh, so click that, click duplicate. It throws it to the end of the site here. Um, and it shows up in the navigation up here. What you want to do with this, you want to drag this into the sub navigation. Um, I was trying it a few minutes ago. It wasn't working quite right. It's working now though. Um, so these three little dots are the handle to move things around. Let's move Maya's planet right under Esoterica. Well, sometimes they're a little bit hard to grab. Um, oh yeah, I can see the, the weirdness, of, like the contact page in here. Uh, and it's hidden anyway. Okay, so we got everything in here. Um, and now if you click on the desk, or if you roll over destinations, Maya's planet is there and you can see I actually just threw inside uh, I did an experiment with the background that um, Sophia sent me yesterday to see if we could do little twinkling stars and it worked as a gift it's not great but it, it kind of worked um, so what we all we need to do to change out an image with the, the easy version is double click on the image it's gonna take you to um, this page with a crown on it uh, the main breakpoint there's a glitch There's something wrong with this background in here. I think it's because I saved that as part of a template. So don't work with this one. Go over to the large desktop view. Um, and in there, double click on the image. The image background will pop up. And all you need to do is click replace. And then we will need to go and upload Maya's page. That's the background. That's a Planet gift PNG. Um, we want like if there's a JPEG file of it. Uh, actually, let's just throw the background in there for now. I mean, the PNG will work. It's just probably 
really, it's not that big of a file. Let's just throw the PNG in there. So I'll click OK. Um, it'll upload the image. Give it a second. It's optimizing the image because it's a PNG file. That usually takes a couple seconds. Um, and rather than bailing on that right now, I am going to just wait for it to be done. Let's, let's see if that should work. Should work, should work. Da, 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 da. Maybe it's going to be too big. There we go. It, it got in there. Um, so it's done. And that's all you need to do if you want to, you know, you can scroll around kind of but the next thing to do is click the done button next to done and then click a republish and it'll publish it to the website and say congratulations um, you can click on this little blue thing here and it'll open up the window um, and then you can go to like Maya JPEG and <laughs> oh there it is yeah it's a big file so it's taking a while to load um, I actually will probably change it to a JPEG so it doesn't have that that lag time. But you know that's it. That's the easy part. Um, you know, like my site is in here. I built mine in a grid um, with some different objects, uh, and so I'm going to kind of do a version like this to share with you guys in the next video. Um, so that's it for now, and hopefully this helps out.